Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's about 4.05 on this Tuesday, January 28th, 2014. And in case you've been living under a rock or you don't know, another movie trailer has been released. Now, you're probably say, now you're probably going to say, well, Brian, there's a lot of movie trailers that have been released. Yes, that is true, but this is one that was unexpected. IGN has reported and has released the announcement and the first teaser trailer. The announcement and the first teaser trailer for 2016 for a Sly Cooper movie. That's right, Sly Cooper. It's being, belie- it's being distributed and released by Sony. Obviously, the owners and creators of the PlayStation. And this is the second movie trailer, teaser trailer, based on one of the video game titles to be released in the span of one year, if not, a l- if not less. Let's not forget, late last year, well, not late last year, but around last year, wasn't early, I'd say maybe late I'd say late winter, early spring, mid-spring, basically late winter to mid-spring, we had Ratchet and Clank movie trailer released. We did. So as good as, so as good, good of news, so as good as the news is to hear the two very popular game titles that are exclusive to the PlayStation, the Sony game console. This, to me, further confirms that there is going to be a Sonic the Hedgehog movie. And that that, my friends, will be the next, possibly next, teaser trailer we get as far as it goes, as far as movies based on video games that Sony is going to release. Now, you might say, well, Brian, they're not gonna, Sony's not gonna work with Rainmaker. They're not gonna work with these, well, they might work with these other people. I can't think of the name right now. Uh, But they're not gonna work with Rainmaker. And and that's true, they may not work with Rainmaker. But, they're probably going to work with this production company as well. Or this entertainment company, whatever. This production company. Obviously, obviously, this is a new production company. I don't know if it's new or not. But apparently, they're behind the producing of both Sly and Ratchet. And I have a feeling they're going to be behind the Sonic one as well. But this further confirms to me, because this is something, folks. This is something that we did not see coming. We did not know there was a Sly movie being made. And we, I mean, I know there's a lot of fans that have played the game. I think I may have glimpsed at it once or twice maybe or something. And I, and I thought it was interesting. I mean, heck, you got Game Boy Sage, uh, Game, Boy One, Game Boy 0001 here on YouTube. You have Game Boy Sage doing a little crossover comic with... Sonic the Hedgehog's Sally Acorn in the Sly Cooper universe, which is a comic you should check out. It's very, very it's been, it looks very, very good. And even though I've never played Sly Cooper, I actually like the franchise a little bit. I like, I like the uniqueness about it that it's a that you could tell that it's not just for older people like. T- like older kids, teens, and all that. But what makes it, res- but what makes it a fan favorite among the, among fans and gamers, oh. is it's different. It's unique. It's got a. It's got character development. Same with Ratchet and Clank. Two of these titles have character development, and fans love that. They love the character development. They love the fact that, act, that they feel that they're not only actually playing a game, 
but they also like the fact in feeling that alongside it, you're getting a decent story with some decent cutscenes and stuff. You don't believe me? Check out a lot of the cutscenes pieced together, edited together as one movie here on YouTube. Check out all the Sly Cooper movies, if you will, that were edited together from cutscenes from various <laughs> Sly Cooper, from various Sly Cooper, you know, that's my dog in the background, but from various Sly Cooper titles. You know, that were edited together from various Sly Cooper titles. And you tell me, you tell me if you don't see a reason not to like the Sly Cooper franchise. If you tell me that there's not a reason to want to play the games. And why people enjoy playing and just and overall playing and enjoying these games. Now, now there have been some criticism already, believe it or not. Criticism at the fact that some people don't like these new designs for the movie. That they're making them look too real. And okay, fine. They, that might be true, but you know what? How else are you going to attract you know, the Motion Picture Association of America to say, let's green light this thing? L let, well, they have green lighted it, but how else are you going to get them to back it up? To really accept it and give it maybe a PG, PG-13 rating? You get what I'm saying, right? You got to make it like that. Now I know that this is a fear already. I can already I can already tell that this is a fear on a lot of fans minds right now that if Sony is going to be bringing Sonic out next, if the next trailer we see is for Sonic and it's probably done by Sega, if not if not maybe who knows, Blue Core Studios, but mostly Sega Animation or Sega CGI. If the next one they see, if the next one they see, which it w is Sonic, I know the fear going through their minds. The fear is they're going to see something similar to what they're seeing with Sly. Like, yeah, you'll know it's Sonic when you see him, but it'll look a little too real. Again, though, that is called attractiveness. That is called attracting uh, people to the product, getting them hyped up for the product. Yes, Sly and Ratchet are, Ratchet I think is a year from now, Sly is in another two years, but you know what? They're giving you a taste of what you're going to see. Now we know what the three, char the three main characters look like, but everybody's going to be questioning, okay, what about the love interest, uh, wha whatever her name is? You know, what what is she going to look like? How is she going to be showcased? We don't really know. We don't really know just yet. But we do know that they're all coming to the big screen in 2016, which again tells me we will be getting a Sonic the Hedgehog movie coming to the big screen soon too. And I do suspect, in my personal opinion, that that's the next trailer we're going to see, the next teaser trailer. And, I, and like I said, I apologize if I'm repeating myself. I know people are afraid of what they may look like. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. You know, that's f that's okay to wonder and if not fear a little bit of what's going to happen because who knows? You may, who knows? When you first see Sonic, maybe you first see whoever's going to be in the movie with him, maybe Tails, maybe you'll be okay with it. Maybe you'll have your criticisms. But again, this just further confirms to me that a movie is coming. I mean, why else would Sony register those Sonic the Hedgehog domains uh, uh, web addresses? Why would they do that? They would do that only if Sonic was the next property in line to get the movie treatment after Ratchet and Sly, and he's going to. So let me know what you guys think down below, and I will talk to you all later. But the Sly Cooper teaser trailer proves to me, at least, the Sonic movie is on its way. So let me know what you guys think down below. Comment if you like. 